hey, if you want to combine a little bit of this with a little bit of this, but don't know how to gear it all up together, I'm gonna to show you some good things that I've learned to make it all happen. All right, so this whole system revolves around my need to carry my big boy nerdy camera with me whenever we go fishing, but also I wanna fish, so I have to carry some gear. So I'm gonna show you some of the gear setup packs that I've used and uh, some different options that you have. If you wanna carry a bigger camera with some lenses, but still have a decent fishing setup. So I've gone through several different backpacks or packs and I've tried different options. This one that I've been using for the past year is by far, at least in my opinion, the best option that I've found. Because it really boils down to, do you choose a fishing bag and try to turn it into a camera bag? Or do you find a camera bag and try to turn it into a fishing bag? And I've usually found that uh, your cameras are gonna fare better, or your lenses are gonna fare better in an actual camera bag. So I start off with this low pro, Pro Tactic BP for backpack, 450 AW. Not sure what the AW means. So in addition to the backpack, <clears throat> this comes down, unzips on both sides, and it has a fully configurable system, not unlike most backpacks or camera bags that you've probably seen before. In my case, I'll sometimes put some fly boxes in one of the slots. So these are nice and you can kind of change them depending on what type of fishing you're gonna do, how many fly boxes you have, and how many lenses you're gonna carry. The way I look at it is if you're gonna carry anything on your back, whether it's a small backpack or a sling bag or anything that's gonna be on your shoulders and you can hack the weight, now obviously this weighs more than just a simple sling bag. If that's okay, my thought is just fill it up and use it for all that you can. Fit all the stuff that you can in here. So what I'll do is I'll switch these compartments around a little bit. I've got this two to 600 lens that weighs like a thousand pounds, but I can stick that right in here. I can take my camera if I want and I can actually subdivide these a little differently and or just stick my camera body attached to this lens if I want. Sometimes I'll have my macro lens with me and I may share space or put my uh, fly boxes in another one. I'm obviously not gonna take every lens that I own, but I can at least bring my camera body with one or two, maybe three lenses, depending on what I'm doing. And then the nice thing is I can still have my cleaning stuff for the camera, strike indicators, smaller fly boxes. I sometimes put reels in the bag. Sometimes we have to carry extra snacks for Cheech. So those are nice to be able to keep those at hand so he can get at them real easily. Anyway, so the, the backpack is super configurable. You can trade out whatever uh, fly fishing versus camera gear that you want. We've got some nice pockets up here. One thing that I've, I've started to use a little bit more is an actual camera strap. And this has a, a level of grippiness on the shoulder area. And these have quick releases onto the camera. So I can just pop this in there and it's gonna hold onto it pretty tightly. And it also has one that you can put on the tripod mount area. And this way I can just sling the camera up over my shoulder and carry even more lenses if I want, or if I want to throw more fly boxes in here, I can do that. So I really dig being prepared with multiple scenarios when you're out on the water with your camera. Okay, now probably the biggest selling feature for me on this backpack is it comes with a Molly system. And we'll get into why I think the Molly system is key for this whole little camera fishing bag setup. So first off, if you're unfamiliar with the Molly system, it's a, a system of sewn loops that you can use to tie gear onto other gear. So in this case, we've got a, a water bottle holder and it just has a little strap that snakes in to these little loops, these Molly loops, straps. And then in this case, I've got another bag. This actually came with the camera bag. I've got a tripod holder that I can attach onto this, but attached to the Molly, the Molly system. The nice thing about that, if you look at a lot of the other manufacturers in the fishing world, like Sims, like Umqua, they have moved also to the Molly system. So you can get your fancy little Sims flyweight pod, which is what this is and this here, and they come with this nice Molly system with straps already set. So you could attach this again with those loops to your bag. 
So what I've basically done here is I've created a backpack with a bunch of attachments that I can interchange and swap them out based on what I want to use. So I'm going to throw fly boxes in here. I'm going to throw maybe some leader and tippet spare things, a uh, water bottle in this one, of course. Again, it has plenty of room for spare snacks. Sometimes the ones you keep in the bag are not enough. Cheech wants the extra ones, so we'll have those super accessible. The other thing that I'll do to kind of expand my fishing gear are these CNF chest packs or chest boxes. And they're magnetic enclosures. It's kind of a lanyard style, so you could just wear that around your neck like so. But the nice thing is that it stays in between your straps of your backpack. So I could even put all my doodads, nippers, readers, floatant, obviously a ton of flies right here at hand, right in front. If I've got my camera on my strap on my shoulder, I can swing up, take a picture. If I need to swap lenses, I simply take the backpack out. For the most part during my fishing day, this is kind of the all-star box tactic or strategy where I have a bunch of other boxes that I use and then I kind of, before I go on a trip, I'll just choose the all-stars for the day and throw them in here so they're all pretty close at hand with this guy. Another option you can do if you don't like a bunch of crud hanging around your neck and encumbering you in the front is I use these rising flask packs. They are great because they also, well, they're Molly compatible. They're, they have belt loops so that you can loop those onto your bag. The other thing that you can do is if you have a belt, like I have a little utility belt that I'll use, it's a 511 tactical belt. So it's wider and you can put your belt through the loops and then you can have that around your waist out of the way of the backpack, but also out of the way of the front if you wanna keep it like that. The other nice thing with the Molly system, you have all the doodads from Umqua, they have their ZS2 line, the tippet holder, floatant holder, those are all Molly compatible. So you can literally weave them onto the pack here, use those as part of your whole system. The Sims pods, the flyweight lineup, even their chest pack, which is a little larger, would fit on here if you wanted it to. Almost forgot is if I need a net, if by chance I'm gonna catch a fish. Gotten this little net retractor, it's the gear keeper. And I just clip that in there. So this is gonna hang off over my shoulder so I can grab it. It's usually hidden and out of the way. I have another gear keeper, sometimes I'll keep a GoPro on this one, or I can have a, a pair of pliers or something else that I wanna keep again out of the way, and then I can bring it forward or however I want to use the things that I have attached there. Previously I had a smaller backpackish style uh, bag for cameras and fishing gear. One common thing that I would always run into is that when it rains this is not very waterproof. It's all weather but it's not waterproof and I've had enough times in torrential downpours in the mountains in Argentina a couple times where this would ruin the gear inside. So the nice thing, this does have a fly that you can pull out of the bottom and cover your pack. If you wanted to go somewhere, and I'll do this often when I'm on a boat or if I am like on a float tube and I don't want to have a bulky backpack like this, I'll leave this one home and I'll go with a dry bag. So this is a Sims backpack style dry bag. It's a roll top so I can obviously get it super watertight. I've dropped it in the water, it does float, but more importantly, it keeps the water out. So what I'll do is you can find these all over the place. I think I got this one from Amazon. It's just a little subdivider for lenses. I'll jam that down into the bottom of this backpack and then you can put your lenses or your camera into this little jobber, slide that down into the bottom of my pack so that if I'm on my float tube and it were to pop or something, all this stuff is gonna be safe and dry. You can use that same concept with really any dry bag. It's just a matter of being able to protect your camera equipment more, more than say a box of flies that are kind of meant to get wet. Your camera on the other hand is not. So this is a great way to consolidate, put a few uh, pieces of camera gear in there, keep it dry, and then you can still go back to the same style where you have a chest pack or, or chest box or packs that you wanna have uh, in addition to your main dry bag. Okay, so that is a summary of what I like to do to keep my camera gear in coexistence with my fishing gear. If you like this video, it would be very helpful if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel. We have a website, flyfishfood.com, where we sell a lot of fishing gear. It's not a plug on that backpack. You can buy that on Amazon or lowpro.com. But it's a good way, if you like to travel and fish with your camera, 
just some ways to let them exist together. Give it a try and let us know what you think.